Hello there, and welcome back to Terror Attack. I'm Michael Max. And, uh, look at us. Look at us. All built up and moving, moving right along. It's been a few days since I, um, I've been able to play. I had a chance to put a couple in the pipe, but, um, but, uh, yeah, it's been busy. I'm super busy here. So, uh, oh, that, geez, we turned good. I can live with that. That's not a bad turn at all. Um, uh, hola to all my friends in Brazil um, who have picked up the stream and joined us. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I love, uh, I love that we're seeing some, some, um, some posters who, who like to comment. Thanks, guys. Um, keep it up. Keep it up. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying what we're putting down. Let's, uh, let's see what this guy's got going on. Let's make some big. Nice big, but with no shield. Nice. Nice. Yep. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Take out. Take out those tires yeah how the battery going oh we're not in good we're not in good with our batteries we're gonna lose our batteries take them out take them out oh Ooh, we need to charge up you know you know how to charge up you know what the best way to charge up I'm thinking because we're out and about that I should just that down with that what do you think is that a good idea mm, maybe just a little bit of that too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I hope so I, I hope some of you are watching some of the Olympics I mean you know me I, it's just a 20 minute 20 minute um, per day uh, little um, I'm not gonna say habit but I will say uh, 20 minute a day um, Mm, let's say 20 minute a day hmm, treat let's say treat and um, yeah and um, the Olympics that I know they're having some problems and I, I know some things have gone roughly um, but it's it's kind of it's kind of awesome watching people who have dedicated so much time and effort and sweat and pain to being the just on the cusp of inhuman with with their ability and I'm I'm in awe of those athletes they're they're they are amazing to me um, I hope I hope you guys um, feel it too I hope you uh, been seeing some of it and supporting your your um, patriotic uh, fellows who who have given up so much to go out and be the best they can I am so proud of Team Canada they've done so well it heartbreaking um, some of the stories and and some of the losses but at the same time just awesome just awesome all of the the those who medal and those who haven't medaled um, they've just been awesome. I wonder if I can. I can. I can. Did you guys see that? That was pretty awesome. It um, it, it let me set stuff where I wanted to set them. Oh, no. There, well, let me put that. Is it? Is it? Where did it put it? Uh, up there. That's because that's the only spot we had left. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, so now we're all charged up. Now I don't feel so scared. Now we can go. We're getting quite a bit of yellow stuff, which is good. Um, I thought there was... Wasn't there... Uh, no, I think he's over here. Yeah, he's over here. Um, let's back out a bit so I can see what's going on. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why it's when I come over the hill that I want to sing that song, but I do. Ah, 
that's a kind of neat um, thing. Like he. Ooh, big scooper. Big scooper. Ronk. 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 That's kind of awesome. Big scooper. Now we haven't in a long time talked about the music and they haven't made any updates to the music in a long time. So, I mean, it kind of is what it is, but um, um, I, I love it. I, I love how uh, Firefly-esque it is. And if you don't know what that means, um, Joss Whedon, Whedon, Whedon um, is, a Amer is an American filmmaker um, and TV show creator, and he created Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And then after Buffy the Vampire Slayer, he and Angel and, and, and whatnot, he created um, another show um, who wh which starred a Canadian, um, Nathan Fillion. Uh, who um, is now in Castle. He plays the, the title role of Castle. And um, a very talented actor who um, is actually went to U of A, which is in Edmonton, um, which is a city to the east and north of Vancouver. And it has a great big mall um, and U of A. And that's, I mean, yeah, no, much else. Well, maybe the Edmonton Oilers. Um, uh, Edmonton Oilers was a uh, NHL hockey team um, who had won a lot of Stanley Cups. Um, and had Wayne Gretzky and Mark Messi and Mark Curry and Kevin Lowe. And, um, not doing so well lately, but uh, yeah. They, um, they have a heck, of a, a heck of a talent pool right now. Uh, they are going to be a very good team in a couple of years, I think. Um, Connor McDavid, he's the real deal. He's pretty amazing, that kid. Um, I think I think they have a better chance of getting the cup with their talent pool than the Leafs do. The Toronto Maple Leafs are uh, another hockey team that, um, from Toronto, of course, and that a lot of people like to hate because they're from Toronto. Uh, my father is a Toronto Maple Leaf fan. I am not. I am a local fan. I like the Vancouver Cucks. I am a long-suffering Vancouver Cucks fan. They have never won um, a championship. Never. Not once. Not even once. But uh, that's okay. What are you going to do, right? Cheer your team. And uh, I like hockey. I actually play hockey um, and have played hockey now for a little while. Why am I bouncing all around? What is going on in there? And why is that there? How do you run over something and then have it crawl up inside you? Mm, don't answer that. Don't answer that. I uh, did a couple episodes of No Man's Sky and um, no one watched. No one... No one liked them. No one took checked them out at all. Like hardly, like three people checked them out, and um, that that's uh, it's a little sad. I didn't think I I didn't think they were that bad, um, but uh, maybe the market is pretty saturated for for No Man's Sky stuff. But everyone's watching them. But um, I like to think you're here as much for the fun and banter as you are for the terrortechness of it all. But uh, Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it, it's all about the Terratech. And, I, hey, Terratech's awesome sauce, so I don't, I mean, yeah. Mm, yeah, no illusions. Mm, back up. I do not want your drills. Mm, Like you're gonna. There it goes. You. You. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't know why we got into yellow this time. It's it's interesting how um, your 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 starting area spawns off and different stuff comes up. There there has been a couple updates. This is um, 0.6.4.1, so there has been yeah a few uppy updates, but um, whether or not we are going to see much of them, especially content wise without starting again and I, don't get me wrong I love starting again but we just started again so I don't what is that terminal payload terminal payload terminal okay. what is that yeah there you go payload terminal There we go. So, yeah. I, I mean, we're just kind of flopping around right now, doing doing what we do. Just kind of checking out the world. Because we hadn't really traveled around in this world very much. We'd sort of just sort of stuck around our base and, um, and done things. But um, we don't have any fuel tanks. That's why we don't go very fast. No matter, you know, we got four, four full engines there and nothing. This guy had some batteries. He had lots of batteries. Look at that. Look at that. We'll take it all. We'll take it all. I'd, I'm curious to see if they're going to put um, any kind of relationship building or anything into into the game where you can have neighbors and um, in your area or if you can have claim jumpers or whatever like you um, I'm wondering if you can like buy territories and then it's your job to mine that territory and at the same time protect it from claim jumpers like a kind of more of a wild west scenario or you know like if they are going to have you um, meet up with friends who have missions and then need your help with stuff uh, it'll be uh, it's going to be interesting to see where this game is um, a year from now. It's it's funny. Before you could do all this this stuff with the games before they were finished, you never really got a sense of the scope and how long it takes to do things versus what what goes into making a game, game like this. And in the end. I, I'm learning a ton just like just looking at the team as it is and watching their their um, YouTubes and Twitches where they talk about you know what what they've been working on and how many bodies you see in those offices um, tweaking and pulling and bringing everything together and um, you know fighting the code to get it to do what they want within the confines of their engine it's 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 pretty amazing i'm um i'm a little in awe of their their creative ability that being said i would like for them to create faster and um, get more people but uh, what you gonna do right what are you gonna do really i have i just gained that many of those are you kidding me? That shouldn't take very long to charge then. Is this what they meant for us to do now? Now that we don't have... Um, um, I can't burn these resources to gain power from them? Is this what they mean us to do? Stop. Pull stuff out. I kind of don't think so. I kind of think... They want us to leave that stationary and then scrap magnet our way around, but it, I'd be interested to know what their actual thought process is on what they want to see, um, and if they think that maybe the way that we were playing before was um, exploiting 
ex ex exploiting the, the system, maybe, a little bit? I don't know. Do you guys think we were? I, I mean, I just... I thought that was how the game was working. Uh, I'd really like to see some solar panels that, that you could add to your tech. Um, and, you know, you can make them delicate. They don't have to be armored. Excuse me, at all. Like, don't, you don't have to armor them. You could design your whole tech around a building a roof with protection around it and then a flatbed of solar panels to, to try to keep your your energy level up. Um, I'd also really, really like to be able to turn off my shields and uh, repair bubble. I'd like to be able to turn them off so that they didn't drain the batteries. I'd like to be able to just click, click. I'd also like to set groups of guns as of kind of like EVE Online does. I'd like to be able to do that. There's um, a few things I'd like, like for them to do, but I uh, can't see happening in the next patch or two, but um, con content-wise it looks like storyline and stuff is going to um, take precedence. Um, you'd have to think that multiplayer is, gonna, is going to rear its head pretty quick here. They're going to want to see, um, they're going to want to see, while they, while they have people to, to beta this stuff. It will change everything, i got to tell you that. Some people won't like it. Some people love the fact that this game is not, is not multiplayer, that they can play on their own. Oh, there went that fuel tank. I don't want it. Yeah, he's got no wheel, so we're just cutting through him now. Cutting through like a torch. Mm. That guy did have a gas tank. We didn't. I mean, it didn't. It didn't make it. I was really hoping for one. I'd like to put one in somewhere. Get away from our stuff, jerky jerk. What is going on? What's going on in the turn? That was solely me. That was not the end. That was me turning the wrong way. That was me turning the wrong way. As I will from time to time. Look at us gathering the gear. I wonder if this is now available for us to sell stuff. Can we sell? Purchase text. Close window. Purchase blocks. Purchase text. Purchase blocks. No selling. No selling. Oh, we got a venture cab. Interesting. Look at all that stuff we can't do anything with here. Zoomer wheels. Is that the first wheel? No, that's the first wheel. What wheel is that? Huh. We might have to look at that. Um, Reaper Flamethrower. Get off of there. Really? Moron. What are you thinking? There's the Venture Raider. And the Jacksepticeye right beside the shield bubble. So it's sorted by shape, I, I guess. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I know I mean, it's just oh, we did really, really well there. Things are getting, things are getting interesting, but we still don't, yeah, we have a big filter bed there, but no gas tanks. <sighs> All right. See, they're still there. They're still in there. So we just haven't found it yet. Okay. A uh, big behemoth. 50,000? I don't think we're there. What do we got? 12? 12. How do I exit out of this? Oh, that'll be one way. That will be one way. 
Lots of stuff to collect. So yeah, I don't know what to do with No Man's Sky. I don't know if uh, I should continue playing it. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I, I think it's the kind of game where you need a little bit more time to dedicate to it so that you, there's not such big breaks in between. Um, I'm only getting to play it like, you know, 20 minutes here, 25 minutes there, and it, the way it saves, it, uh, it's a bit of a headache. And quite frankly, the, the graphics are lovely, but getting to getting it to work seamlessly on on my laptop has been uh, a little cranky, a little cranky. Needs some, it needs some patching. So maybe after the patch, when it get everything gets a little easier, it's hard to record with because the alt tabbing doesn't work so i can't it's it's a real pain to, to get smooth beginnings and ends to it but um uh, pain in the butt pain in the butt but um oh wow wow that's neat things further away but um still feeling the pull and then we'll slowly pull but then I even helped it along there. I even helped it along. Um, I found that keeping the world um, not so populated with stuff does keep the frame rate up. Definitely helps. Definitely helps with the frame rate. But, uh, yeah. So, No Man's Sky, yeah, we'll, um, we'll continue on. We'll check it out. We'll see what, uh, I don't know. You tell me. You guys tell me if if there's a game out there that you really want to see. Um, something indie or something not quite finished yet. Or There's lots of stuff on Steam that you guys see that might interest you that you just don't know yet. I can always, um, I can email the developers and ask them if it's okay if I, if I do a series on them. Um, the Terratech guys are super nice there. They say right out front, yep, do it. If you guys want to, do it. They um, they like the press. They And they, they like the YouTubers too. They, they did a weekly YouTuber um, a YouTuber of the week and that kind of stuff. That, I mean, that, that's great. That's awesome. I mean, they, they didn't give me a YouTuber of the week award, but, uh, you know, I'm not Blitz, so... <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I joke, I joke, um, I kid, I kid, Blitz is amazing, he, you guys should definitely watch his series, they're, they're pretty cool, he's, um, he's a total pro, I, uh, I find him entertaining, to say the least, though, uh, I think Spotter Cat's better, Hon like, honestly, Sp Spotter Cat, he's, I mean, he's got a bit of a potty mouth, but he's, his sense of humor is a little bit more dry. And I, 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 I dig that. It's he's not for everybody. I, I get it. I get it. He's not for everybody, but he is. Um, he is amusing. I think it might. It just might be one of like a California thing. I don't. Um, yeah, up north here we don't we don't see many people from California. It's too cold for them too cold it was 31 degrees today it was super hot i was sweating all day long if you haven't guessed i'm i am um, i'm recording this at home later in the evening and i will put it online probably tomorrow tomorrow morning yeah i know we've gone over time um but uh, just haven't feel like we haven't played in a long time and I'm loath to uh, to walk away I'm loath to walk away from it but you know what this is a good spot because this is this is basically where we is at and uh, we are out of time but uh, I'll see you next time thanks so much for coming out this is Michael Max and you're watching Terra Tech um, a preview build and uh, it's on Steam and it was on sale on Steam like 30% off it, um, it's a good deal it you know what, but it's a good deal at full price. This this game is awesome. Um, if you guys have built techs and you and you want me to see them, um, take a screen screenshot. I uh, 
uh, and uh, throw it on. I, I, I'd love to see some of the stuff that you guys make. Anyway, we'll catch you next time on Terratech. Bye now.